Sharing audio on your PC doesn't have to mean blasting it through speakers. Whether you're gaming with a buddy, watching a movie with your partner, or just jamming to tunes with a friend, connecting multiple headphones to your PC is the secret sauce. And today I'm gonna teach you how to do just that, whether they're wired, wireless, or a mix of both. Let's kick things off with using two classic wired headphones. You got three cool tricks up your sleeve here. First up, we have the easiest solution using a headphone splitter. It's a Y-shaped adapter that turns one audio jack into two or more. Just plug it into your PC's audio port, connect your headphones, and bam, instant audio sharing. You can even find multi-splitters if you're feeling extra social. We've added a list of our recommended splitters in the description below, so check that out if you're in the market for one. Now, if you don't want to shell out some cash or if you're in a hurry, here's a nifty trick using your PC's built-in settings. First, connect both sets of headphones to your PC. Open the Settings app and click on System, then Sound. Under Output, select your primary headphones or Realtek Audio as the output device. Scroll down and choose More Sound Settings. In the new window, go to the Recording tab. Right-click anywhere and select Show Disabled Devices. Find Stereo Mix, right-click it and choose Enable. Now right-click Stereo Mix again and select Properties. Go to the Listen tab, check Listen to this device. In the drop-down under Playback Through This Device, choose your second set of headphones. Click Apply, then OK. And voila, you're now outputting to two different headphones simultaneously. But if you're looking for even more control, let's talk about virtual audio mixers. An audio mixer is software that lets you manage multiple audio inputs and outputs on your PC. Here's how to set it up. Download a free virtual mixer. In our experience, Voice Meter is the best for this. We added the download link in the description below. Install and open the software. Then in Windows settings, set Voice Meter as your default audio device. Open the Voice Meter app and you'll see options for hardware out A1 and A2. Click A1 and select one pair of headphones. Click A2 and select the other pair. Now you can control each audio stream independently. All right, that covers our wired options. If any of these solutions work for you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips. And hey, drop a comment letting us know which method worked best for you. Now let's cut the cord and talk about wireless options. If you're looking to connect multiple Bluetooth headphones, a multi-stream Bluetooth adapter is your new best friend. Here's how to use one. Grab a multi-stream Bluetooth adapter. We've got recommendations in the description. Plug the adapter into a USB port on your PC. Install any necessary drivers, usually automatic in Windows 10 and 11. Put your Bluetooth headphones in pairing mode. On your PC, go to Settings, then Bluetooth and Devices. Click Add Device, then select Bluetooth. And select your headphones. Repeat for your second pair of headphones. Now you should be able to output audio to both pairs simultaneously. But if you're in a hurry and prefer a software solution for your Bluetooth headphones, the virtual audio cable is a great option. Here's how to set it up. Download and install the virtual audio cable software bundle. Again, we added the download link in the description below. In Windows Sound Settings, set Line 1 as your default playback and recording device. Open two instances of Audio Repeater. In the first instance, set Wave In to Microsoft Sound Mapper and Wave Out to your first Bluetooth device. In the second instance, set Wave In to Line 1 and Wave Out to your second Bluetooth device. Click Start on both Audio Repeater windows. Your audio should now be heard on both Bluetooth devices. Go ahead and enjoy that music or movies with your friend. We're not done yet, though. If you got one wired headphone and one wireless headphones, no problem. We can make them work together using either the stereo mix method or an audio mixer we discussed earlier. But if you just skip to this part or don't want to go back, here's a quick recap. Using stereo mix, connect your wired headphones and pair your Bluetooth headphones to your PC. Open Windows settings and go to system then sound. Under output, select your wired headphones as the default device. Scroll down and click on More Sound Settings. In the new window, go to the Recording tab. Right-click in the empty space and select Show Disabled Devices. Find Stereo Mix, right-click it and choose Enable. Right-click Stereo Mix again and select Properties. Go to the Listen tab and check Listen to this device. In the drop-down under Playback Through This Device, choose your Bluetooth headphones. Click Apply, then OK. Using a virtual mixer, download and install a free virtual mixer like Voice Meter. Connect your wired headphones and pair your Bluetooth headphones to your PC. In Windows settings, set Voice Meter as your default audio device. Open Voice Meter. In Voice Meter, locate the hardware out options, usually labeled A1 and A2. 
Click A1 and select your wired headphones. Click A2 and select your Bluetooth headphones. Any audio playing through voice meter will now output to both headphones. And there you have it, whether you're rocking old school wired headphones, cutting edge Bluetooth, or a mix of both, you've now got the power to create your own multi-headphone audio experience. No more fighting over the aw cord or disturbing your roommates, just a quick and easy audio experience for the books. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks, and drop a comment to let us know which one worked for you. For more info, check out our full guide in the link in the description.